The Inventory Management System is all you need to manage your inventory. The Products tab presents the list of products in a spreadsheet manner. The total cost, the total value, and the expected profit from all your stock is shown at the top of the tab. You can add a new product by right-clicking on the spreadsheet and clicking the Add New Product option. This will bring up a form to collect the product information. The fields marked with a red star are compulsory. Once you have completed the form, click on the Submit button to save the form. The added product should appear in the spreadsheet. You can edit a product directly on the spreadsheet or by right-clicking and selecting the Edit Product option, if you prefer using the form view. The spreadsheet also allows for bulk operation, or importing your products from another database. For example, if you have the list of your product in Excel, you can easily copy and paste them here. Select the column and rows from Microsoft Excel and copy them. You can copy each column independently, if they are not in the order prescribed by the spreadsheet. Once you have copied them, head over to the app spreadsheet and click on where you would like to paste, and press Ctrl plus V on Windows, or Command plus V on Mac computer. Do not double-click on a cell, as that would imply you are editing that particular cell. You will see the copied data in the spreadsheet. Changes made to the spreadsheet are automatically saved. If you would like to delete some rows, select the rows and right-click on the spreadsheet, and you should see an option for doing that. You can manage your products more effectively by putting them into different categories. But first, you will need to define these categories. To add a new category, right-click on the spreadsheet, and select the option for adding a new category. Enter the name of the category you wish to define, and submit the form. Once defined, you can start allocating products to the category. There are several ways to do this. You can do this through the Add or Edit Product Form method. You can also select the category directly from the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet also allows you to fill up new rows with the data from an initial row. For example, you may want to apply a category to multiple products at the same time. To do this, select the cell you would like to copy from, then move your cursor to the small square at the bottom right corner. Your cursor should change to a plus sign, indicating that it is ready to drag. Then click on the small square and drag down or drag up through the cells you would like to change. You can also sort the spreadsheet by any field. Clicking on the column header will first sort in the alphabetical order. Clicking again would sort in the descending order. A third click will undo the sorting. Inventory activities are easier to perform with a barcode scanner. If a product has a barcode, enter the barcode in the barcode field. If the product does not have a barcode already, you can generate one by right-clicking on the product and selecting the print barcode option. The system will generate a barcode with the product ID. Connect your barcode label printer to print the label. The Add or Edit Product form provides you with an easy way to add product images. Click on the Add Picture button. You can then use your system or phone camera, or select the picture from your device. Alternatively, if you have a website with the product image listed, you can copy the image address and paste them on the spreadsheet. However, this may slow down the software, as it would be relying on images on other servers. You should set the minimum quantity limit for each product to trigger an alert when the stock gets to or below that limit. You will see the products that are getting out of stock and the remaining quantity on the stock alert tab at the right hand of the screen. Each time you get new stock, you should add the stock using the Add Purchase tab. This allows you to manage your stock and store transactions accurately. It also helps in calculating profit or loss. You can use a barcode scanner to add a product to the purchase list, or search for the products using the search bar. Clicking on products in the stock alert tab should also add them to the purchase list. If it is a new product, you can easily add the product information using the add product button. You can then set the expiry date for the new stock, the cost price, selling price, and the quantity you have purchased. 
You may also enter other details of the purchase, such as the discount you were given, the tax applied, and the shipping fee. You should also record balance payment and additional notes about each purchase. Once you are done, submit the form, and the system should automatically adjust the quantity of each product, the price, and the product expiry date with the new information you have supplied. You will also see a list of your purchases in the Purchases tab. You can use this to view your previous purchases. The Inventory Manager also provides the functionality for taking stock of your products. Clicking on the Stock Taking icon will take you to the Stock Taking page. This will generate a new stock taking sheet. You can use a barcode scanner to scan each product on the shelf or search for the product using the search box. Once you have scanned a product, it will bring up a window for you to confirm the number of that product you found. This field is pre-populated with the amount expected. If the amount expected is the amount found, then click on the confirm button. If the amount found is different from that expected, you should enter the amount found. If you are disposing of expired or faulty items, enter the amount of the disposed item in the disposed field. You may also add a comment about that product or an issue with the stock. Once you have confirmed the stock, it should appear in the stock taking sheet. Repeat the process for all product you are checking. Once you are done, you can leave a comment about this stock taking exercise. The system also takes note of the user who has taken this stock and the time the stock taking begun. Select the reconcile quantity field. If you would like to adjust the quantity in the inventory product list with the one confirmed during the stock taking exercise. When you are done, submit the sheet to save the exercise to the system. You will see a list of all previous stock taking exercise at the right hand side of the page. Click on the edit button beside each stock exercise to view the exercise or continue from where you stopped. We recommend you use the stock taking system to take initial stock of your shop before using the purchase function to add new purchases. The expiry calendar keeps you abreast of when each product would expire. You can see this calendar in a month, week or day view. A stock manager can also use this calendar to keep track of events. For example, setting reminders for stock taking, ordering more products, or following up quotations. The Add Quotation tab allows you to easily generate a quotation. You can add a product to the quotation list using a product search bar. The Stock and Cost fields shows you how much of that product you currently have and how much you are currently getting it for. You should enter the price and quantity you would be quoting for in the Amount field and Quantity field. After adding all the items to this quote, you can then set the discount, the tax, the shipping fee, the customer name, and the customer address. You can also enter important information about this quote in the Notes field for your private use. You can then save this quote, and it will appear in the list of quotations in the Quotation tab. You can print the quotation using the Print button. You can also view previous quotation using the Edit button. Click on the Sell button. Once the quote has been approved or sold, to turn that quotation to a sale. You will then see a badge indicating that that quotation has been sold. Use the refresh button to refresh the page at any time. For example, to see the status or quantity of products after several sales has been made. In addition, after making changes to the selling price of your products, refresh the page to see the current value and expected profit from all your stock. Use the Reports button at the top right screen to generate reports on your stock. Please consult the Reports and Chart tutorial to learn more about how the reporting system works. Use the Sales button at the top right screen to view all the sales from the shop. The Sales page has three views, the Grid mode, the List mode, or the Spreadsheet mode. Select the mode you prefer to view the list of sales with Use the search bar to search through sales by date. 
Clicking on a sale will open up a window to view details of that sale and print receipts. Click on the Add Sale button to proceed to the point of sale system. As you have seen, the Perfect Pharmacy Manager is the most versatile and easy to use system in the market. With this software, you can easily add and manage your products using a powerful spreadsheet. You can easily take stock and audit your products, manage purchases, create quotations, manage sales, and view reports. You can manage prescriptions and refill medications using the prescription system. You can quickly find more information about a drug and dosage administration using the inbuilt drug dictionary. An electronic health record system is integrated into the software. You can use this to take patient notes with a powerful text editor with automatic track changes. This allows you to keep track of modifications made to a document, as well as the user who made the modification and the time it was made. You can easily take patient information using customized digital medical forms. You can create tasks, assign them to other staff, and track their progress. Member of staff can manage appointments and events using a powerful and versatile calendar. The software works both online and offline, and across all major devices.